Hey guys, welcome back to this machine learning course. And in today's session, we'll understand what exactly is machine learning. Then we'll look into the types of machine learning algorithms, which are supervised learning and unsupervised learning. So let's get started. Now we'll understand the concept of machine learning with this example over here. So what do you see in this slide? What does this exactly? It's a car, isn't it? And how about this? Well, this is a car too. And this, again, a car. Now, how do you know all of these are cars? Well, as a kid, you'd have come across a picture of a car and you'd have been told by your kindergarten teacher or your parents that this is a car. And your brain learned that anything which looks like that is a car. And that is how our brain functions. But we've got a machine. So if the same image is fed to a machine, how will the machine identify it to be a car? So this is where machine learning comes in. Now we keep on feeding images of a car to a computer with the label car until the machine learns all of the features associated with the car. And once the machine learns all of the features associated with the car, we will feed it new data to determine how much has it learned. Or in other words, raw data or the training data is given to the machine so that the machine learns all of the features associated with the training data. And once the learning is done, the machine is given new data or the test data to determine how well it has learned. And that is the underlying concept of machine learning. So now that we've understood what exactly is machine learning, let's have a look at the different types of machine learning algorithms. So broadly speaking, we have supervised and unsupervised machine learning algorithms. So let's start with the first one. Let's understand what exactly is supervised learning. So supervised learning is where we have input variables and an output variable. The input variable is denoted by x and the output variable is denoted by y. Or in other words, we have some independent variables and a dependent variable and we try to understand how does the dependent variable change with respect to the independent variables. So let's take this example over here. So here, gender is the independent variable and result is a dependent variable. And we're trying to map a function between gender and result so that whenever we have new input data, we can predict output values with respect to that input data. Right. Now we'll look at the different types of supervised learning algorithms. So supervised learning problems can be further grouped into regression and classification. So a classification problem is when the output variable is a category. Like over here, the output variable is gender. That is, we're trying to determine if the input data is female or male then we have regression. So a regression problem is when the output variable is a real value. Like over here again, the output variable is price of 1 kg apples. So that was supervised learning. Now we'll go ahead and understand what exactly is unsupervised learning. So unsupervised learning is where we only have input data and no corresponding output variables. The goal for unsupervised learning is to model the underlying structure or distribution in the data in order to learn more about the data. So let's take this example over here. We only have input data without any labels. Now after applying an unsupervised learning algorithm on top of this raw data, we get two clusters. This division of clusters has been done on the basis of similarity in characteristics. So the first cluster is comprised of only fish and the second cluster is comprised of only birds. So guys, the important thing when it comes to unsupervised learning is there are no labels for the input data and our task is to understand the distribution or the similarity in the data. And this brings us to the end of the session. So thanks for attending and let's meet in the next class.